Welcome to Whole CEO with Lisa G. I'm the best-selling author of The Boss Weight Loss. I'm bringing you the top tips to be unstoppable. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to actually pull up a chair with today's top experts in mindset, weight loss, business, and more. Learn our top tips so that you can have more energy, be fit and resilient, feel unstoppable, unshakable, and unbreakable. Eight ways to get your mojo back is tonight's topic. Can you guys believe we have three months left through the rest of 2021? I'm Lisa G in Santa Monica. Let me know where you're tuning in from. We'll get started with tonight's content right away. Eight ways to get your mojo back. Thanks for coming, everyone. Since we only have three months left in 2021 and we've all been through the pandemic, this video is about how to get your mojo back. You need mojo to crush your goals and rule the world. In the movie Austin Powers, Dr. Evil speaks about mojo, meaning your self-esteem, self-confidence, and sex appeal. I'm Lisa G. Tonight's video is all about getting your mojo back. I'm here in Santa Monica. Let me know where you're tuning in from. And let's jump right in with eight ways guaranteed to get your mojo back. Let me know if you're here live with me with a one or a two, if you're catching me on the replay. Step number one is we all have to accept the facts. Waiting for the facts to change is just wishful thinking. We've all suffered setbacks. If there's something in your life you don't like, decide to try and fix it or move on. If your mojo is down due to a failed relationship, forgive and forget. You can't undo it. Don't focus on the negative. It's a surefire way to kill mojo. You're going to be fine, even if it doesn't feel that way right now. Step two, focus on what brings you joy. Engage in activities you enjoy and decide what depletes you from what replenishes you. For me, I love shopping, work, travel, relationships. What is it for you? Remember to keep your eye on how much sleep you're getting for optimal mojo and notice what stresses you out. Assess the situations you can change from the ones you can't and start tackling the areas where you can make changes. When you focus on what brings you joy, the mojo you feel will radiate outward. And step number three, don't beat yourself up. Stay something positive to yourself to take your mistakes in stride. Remember, when it comes to your dreams, you might falter, but the only way to fail is to abandon them. Step number four, let's get physical. Engaging in physical activity you enjoy is mojo enhancing. Go for a bike ride, play tennis or pickleball. Going for a long hike always brings my mojo back. Just like water that doesn't circulate, you can become stagnant from lack of movement. If you feel sluggish and depleted with no mojo, get moving. And step five is show gratitude. Be grateful for what you have instead of focusing on what you lack. Counting your blessings is mojo enhancing while thinking of what you don't have is mojo depleting. And step six is find a mojo master, someone who exudes lots of self-confidence and model their behavior. Step seven is to help someone. There's no better way than to help someone else to raise your mojo and be of service to others. And finally, step number eight is be a rainmaker and keep dancing. If your mojo is low, there was a village that was famous for miles because its rainmakers were successful in making it rain 
100% of the time. The surrounding villages were amazed at this remarkable success, so they sent a representative to observe what they were doing differently. And it turns out the reason for their perfect track record was simple. Their rainmakers wouldn't stop dancing until it rained. Follow their lead. Whatever your most important goal is, refuse to stop dancing. That is, take the necessary action to achieve your goal until you've succeeded. I launched my podcast about how to be unstoppable, unshakable, unbreakable during the pandemic because it was hard for me too. For a quick boost of motivation anytime, go to the podcast Whole CEO with Lisa G. Learn from the top influencers how to go from stuck to unstoppable. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a review. I'll be launching a very special 100th podcast episode series soon, and you won't want to miss it. I'm Lisa G reminding you that your health is your wealth. Thanks for coming and I'll see you soon. Thanks for coming a whole CEO of Lisa G. After over 20 years helping people lose weight and get fit, I'm so excited to announce that I found the missing link with my coaching. Message me if you want to learn how to look better, feel better, and go faster with a master. Lisa G at LisaGFit.com.